Our favorite anchorman, Daniel Henderson, is taking the morning show off the rails and doing his own thing. And we're not talking about the Pix11 morning news. It's all part of the storyline on the hit Apple TV Plus series. So take a look. It's an interesting time in America. What the hell is we, happening? We, the people, are asking tough questions. Our candidate. Isabella. Uh, I had Howard Stern. And we're just all looking to live. Stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with it. And when I think of the American dream, I think of one person in particular. And so this song is in her honor. Oh, well, the anchorman is joining our morning show right now. Please say hello to actor, producer, and director, Mr. Deshaun Terry. Good OG, morning. you got to hijack the show like Daniel. That's, what, oh, that's, oh my gosh. that's what I've learned. I'm telling you, like, no, if I did that here, mm -mm. they would, like, turn off my mic. But you wouldn't be the first anchor on the show to go rogue, right, on your show, on that show. But you still got to sing your song. They don't let me sing here. Tell, tell those who haven't seen that what song you get to sing. Uh, America by uh, Neil Diamond. It's so funny because you went up to the beginning and I just want to be like, oh, start uh, uh, bel belting out the rest of it. <laughs> Which you're allowed to because you have a great voice. So it's fine if you wanted to. I can just, we can just have a, a, like, a, like a private concert from Mr. Terry this morning, but. Oh, oh no, not, not today, not today. Okay. So, it's it's so okay, good. next time. Next time we'll get the concert. But for real, like the season two finale is this Friday? Yes. And the yes, episode yes, yes. is titled Fever. So I was like, could things get any hotter on this show? Like how much hotter are we going? Well, you know, the morning show, uh, uh, first of all, I think one of the things I really love about the show is it really uh, ramps up. And I think we're, we've done that again this season. But obviously because this season uh, is about COVID and mm -hmm. it's about time Pre-COVID, uh, we started uh, January 1st, 2020. People may remember the trauma from January to March. And we ramp up to um, the, you know, when we officially now we're in the COVID times. And uh, I think I can say, uh, we found out last episode mm -hmm. that uh, Jen has, uh, Jen's character, Alex Levy, that she got COVID. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, yeah, so things are heating up. Okay, so here's the deal. So when I was talking about the season two trailer, I was like, what in the Hollywood Walk of Fame is going on here? You guys not only have an impressive cast, like, and then you're adding more people, and I'm sure you get to learn from each other, right? But what have you learned about the morning news life so far? Um, I learned that it's not for me. <laughs> uh, Y'all get up super, super early, um, and reading from the teleprompter is, you know, it's just so much harder, because you're supposed to make it look natural. You're supposed to make it look easy. And so it's just really uh, way harder than it looks. Um, it's that sort of synchronized swimmer thing where it's like you got to look like gorgeous up top uh, and, you know, doing down below. So I, I don't envy the, the life of the morning news anchor, um, but I enjoy playing one on TV. Well, that's why <laughs> I always say your talent is endless and like you pull everything off. You make it so easy. And because, first of all, you have a theater company called Cab and... You're also working on directing a production of a Pulitzer Prize winning opera. I can't even spell Pulitzer Prize, let alone direct an award winning play. So how's that going? Uh, it's going good. We're, I'm doing all of it right now. Uh, you know, it's been really tough for the arts since COVID. And so with Collaborative Artist Block, now that we're back to doing in-person theater, uh, we're figuring out exactly what that, you know, what that looks like. And uh, we're working on Anthony Davis's, not Cab, but uh, um, uh, Long Beach Opera is working on Anthony Davis's Pulitzer Prize winning opera Seriously. about the Central Park Five, uh, which is surreal when they asked me to do that because it was like, oh my God, I, I had never thought of directing an opera at that point in time. Um, but uh, I'm working closely with them and uh, that story of the Central Park Five, you know, I always tell people that uh, I was 16 years old, first day getting a driver's license wow. when I was pulled over by the police. And, you know, and so for a lot of, it's such an important story uh, for the black community. And so to get the opportunity to bring it to the space is, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful about it. Or, and, when, and when that happens, whatever you work on, be sure to come back because we have someone in common, Wendy Raquel Robinson, but we'll talk about that next time. I know, right? I love her so much. She's my principal in my head. But it's such a pleasure to meet you, Deshaun. No, you, don't, you have no idea. Principal Greer, thank you so much for joining our morning show. You're welcome back anytime. Yeah, thanks for, uh, 
Thanks for supporting. Anytime. Right. Anytime. You can check out his anchoring skills and his acting skills on all of the above on the morning show. The finale streams this Friday on Apple TV+. Plus. Thank you, Deshaun. See you soon.